Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. In this video, I am going to share with you my first impressions on the Ortlieb fork pack, as well as share with you how to install the pack on a number of different forks. Let's do it. So the new 3.2 liter Ortlieb fork pack is pretty slick. Uh, it's just a roll top closure like system as you see here and uh, opens up to the main compartment. The bag itself is a polyurethane coated nylon so it repels water really well and it is welded seams all throughout so it is 100% waterproof when closed properly. The bag comes with a plastic stiffener in the back to kind of create its shape. And then it also comes with the mounting hardware on the bag, which is basically a spring-loaded system that attaches and detaches from the mounting plate. So the bag is 22 centimeters in height, 16 and a half in width, and nine centimeters in depth. So the mounting plate is just a lightweight composite plate that has three mounting positions to mount onto your fork or a band clamp that is included so that you can mount it on a suspension fork. The bag has a capacity to hold 6.6 .6 pounds and the bag's weight without hardware is is 264 grams. So the two-part system is super easy to use. You've got the plate and the bag itself. The plate mounts onto the fork and the bag mounts onto the plate. It almost mimics a just a smaller rack and pannier system. These top pieces basically go into these little wedges here and then the teeth on the bottom just go into this lower part here. So essentially it just slides right into place. And then the spring-loaded system will lock it into place. And then with the pull of this lever, it will easily release. I also really enjoy that it comes with this really nice and solid click when installing it. And you know that it's installed, it's not going anywhere, and it's stable. So one of the really neat features of this pack is it mounts on a number of different forks. So you've got forks that have three pack mounts on the side, so carbon forks like this one. It'll also mount to a suspension forks, steel forks, and you don't need to go to the hardware store to get any additional parts. It comes with all the hardware you need. That being said, forks that have angled uh, three pack mounts, either forward or backwards, they may not work, so you'll have to keep a close eye on that. But if the three pack mounts go straight out like this, you're not gonna have any issues. So I wanna share just a few thoughts on the bag. And first and foremost, this is a great pack because it's innovative. It's something new, it's something we haven't quite yet seen, but it was well thought out and it's unique. And I really appreciate that from Ortlieb. I'm also really excited about the weight to storage ratio. Look at that thing, it's huge. And it weighs 264 grams when it's empty. That's not much, especially when you're putting more weight up front, especially on a fork, you don't wanna to have too much weight up there. So keeping the weight down on the bag itself is important. And the material itself, it's not a very thick material like some Ortlieb bags. So I've taken this bag out on a few day rides so far and the system itself is super stable. There is a tiny bit of play in the plate, but really it's minimal. So one thing we're gonna have to pay close attention to is the locking mechanism with this spring-loaded system. It locks into only one side here. If that wears down, it definitely will create a little bit more instability, but there's no sign of that currently. The other awesome feature of this bag is the proven Ortlieb waterproof technology. I'm really not gonna have to worry about water penetrating through this bag, or if I wanted to carry water in it, it's not going to leave if you are into doing that. And then the other really neat feature of this is it's easy to remove the plate from bike to bike, unlike a rack where it takes a little bit more effort. Remove this plate and put it on a different bike is super easy. It just takes a few minutes to basically unscrew. That being said, let's get into the install process now. All right, so they come with directions. You could use them or you could just watch me install this. Either way. So for starters, there's three ways to install this bag. First off, you have a regular carbon fork that has bosses or eyelets where you can install this plate directly to the fork. The second way is to use the hardware that is provided from Ortlieb. So some hardware that it comes with is uh, some shrink wrap, which we'll cut in half and I'll show you in a second, two aluminum bands that will contour around the fork leg, 
and then the nuts that will allow the plate to install to the bands. And then the third way is a hybrid of the two. If you only have one eyelet uh, or brazon on your fork, you can use that. And then you can also use these band clamps for the lower connection point for the plate. Let's get started with just installing it on a carbon fork that has three eyelets. All right, so what you're gonna to wanna to first do is just ensure that you have the proper orientation and it should be installed upward like this. So these little circles should be faced upward and out. And we'll just put in the uh, first two, bottom one and the top one and just hand tighten it. And then all you have to do is throw in the middle one and it's a three mil. So get whatever tool you use. So just make sure that they are tight. I think they say one newton meter. I'm not even going to tighten it down to one newton meter. All I'm gonna do is just tighten it down. And then every so often, I'm just gonna make sure that the screws are just not loose on the plate here. This is probably why most of you are watching this video. The next step is we are going to install the adapter plate directly to the suspension fork using the provided hardware. And what we're gonna do first is cut the shrink wrap in half. And then all we're gonna do is pinch the shrink wrap and basically just weave it into the aluminum plate like so. And it is a little bit difficult. You just have to be gentle. And then what we're gonna wanna do is just center the shrink wrap over the aluminum band. All right, so then they should both look like this. So the next step is take your Lucky Bic lighter. Basically, we're just shrink wrapping the shrink wrap. It really doesn't need to be overdone. Now the shrink wrap is cooled. It's time to basically just start contouring the shape of fork leg, like so, and just give it a nice little bend. Do that for both of them. And really what we're just looking to do here is just make sure that the shrink wrap is actually covering the majority of the fork leg so that it protects the fork leg. All right, now it's time to get the nuts and bolts out. And we'll set the bolts aside for now. Just wanna give you a quick up close look at the nut. The rounded side should be on the outside. So what we'll do is wrap the band around the upper fork leg as you can see. And then essentially we just need to kind of start forcing it through. So just start forcing it through. And once you get to a point where you can almost get the nut to sit flush with the fork leg, then you can start almost bending these band uh, arms backwards. So there you go, bending one backwards like that. And then just trying to force in the nut as close as possible and then bending it on the other side. It doesn't necessarily need to be very tight because what's gonna happen is we're going to install the plate and the plate, this inner side of the plate is gonna smash up against these bands right here and it's going to cinch this whole system down. So it's pretty neat in that regard. So I'm gonna leave it just right there and then I'm also gonna just install the other one. You do need to just make sure that these are crimped on the sides here. If you don't do that, then it's gonna be a little difficult to get this rather short bolt into here. So um, crimping it down will definitely save you some effort. The nuts need to be facing basically directly away from the bike. The bag needs to be basically in line with the side of the bike. It can't be tilted forward or backwards, just as far as a safety precaution to make sure that the bag doesn't hit the, the spokes or the wheel. All right, so the bands are on, they're pretty loose. There's plenty of movement. All we have to do now is screw this top bolt into the upper nut here. Sometimes you just need to push on the fork leg and just create a little bit of tension. So that one's in and then measure up the bottom one. And at this point, we still have a little bit more room to move around before we tighten it down. So make sure that it's oriented properly and it's outward. And so from here, all we have to do now is tighten it down. And they say two and a half Newton meters. I'm just gonna tighten it down to what I think is taut just to make sure that I don't break any of these bolts or break any of the hardware here. So as you see, now that I tighten the bolts, the band is pinched almost further down. So 
it's now actually really tight. The more you tighten it down, the more these bands cinch down and tighten to the fork leg, which is really a, a neat system and it's super easy. So briefly chatting about the third method, obviously you'll use part of the first method and part of the second method I just showed you. One thing to note about that, that does not work for any bladed carbon or any carbon forks in general. Any steel fork will work really well. Uh, but for the most part, for most of the forks, either this method or the first method I showed you will work. All right, and that about does it for the Ortlieb fork pack. If you have any comments or questions regarding this bag or the install process, uh, please put them in the comment section below. And stay tuned for our full length review on this bag in the not too distant future on bikepacking.com. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, pedal further.